Hello there and welcome back to another Thunders Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another video. I've got a kind of a short video here. It's a quick overview of a section of my map uh, that we haven't been in in a long, long time. It's been uh, probably a year and a half since I've been over to this area. And the last video that I made of this area... Uh, there's uh, things things did change after that video and I never came back and uh, and showed some of those changes or some of those updates and uh, I'm watching Lord Dacker right now and he's doing uh, a let's play series on shipping docks and uh, because I've already got one pretty much done and laid out and kind of set where it is in my world uh, I, I had commented on his video and I've been talking to him about it and I told him if he needed some inspiration you know he could come look at mine because he's trying to do some research uh, on some of his stuff, and uh, he's <laughs> there, there's there's a lot of footwork in, in, into doing a, a large build like that, and uh, because I've already got a lot of footwork done, and you know, I told him you know he could you know take a look at mine, uh, and also too he was going to send some people over my way and, uh, and and get inspired, and it's always good to get you know different views of you know other people's builds, you know especially you know good builders, you know like you know like Lord Dacker and I'm, I I think myself, <laughs> and uh, and and get some different perspectives of you know the same type of build uh you know how one person may look at it and how somebody else may look at it but anyways is what i want to do is i want to make an update video of my shipping docks go over a few things that i have in my area that hopefully you know should inspire anybody else that's that's working on their shipping docks i will will make it back to this area i'm definitely getting definitely getting inspired by watching his series right now and uh, and i really want to get back in here and uh, and, and start building especially over here in this area and my uh, my naval uh, docks area down way down over there so i've got my render distance set out to holy shit and uh, so we shouldn't have too much lag but if we do uh we'll just deal with it but anyways what i got is uh, back here behind me you could see uh, i've got the uh the trains coming in off the main line there's a main line that's going to go this way and then out to another part of the world and it's got three break off lines here and uh, this isn't quite exactly how I wanted to do it uh, but I think is is what I'll do eventually is I'll have a couple more break off lines off of here uh, so that I'll, I'll have uh, you know anywhere between six and eight I think probably main lines for the trains to come in for unloading uh, but anyways that's that's where the intermodal uh, uh, containers will come in on on the uh, the rail the rail system here and that goes way down there we'll look at a little bit further you know as, as i get down that way uh he was looking at uh the, when he first set up his his main storage area he had his parallel to the docks uh, and then realized that it was easier to set it up like this and that was something that i had realized uh, from looking at a lot of different pictures that this system made a lot more sense than having it parallel to to the ships where they're getting loaded up here uh, this area over here is for the main uh, trucks that come in. They can unload here. The uh, the gantry cranes can back up into this, you know, the storage area, drop them down and set them. And then on the other area, there's a secondary crane that can come and sort. And it's all computerized. You know, a lot of this shit is, you know, especially in your newer docks, it's all computer run. They just, you know, they plug in a number and the cranes go go and find all the different, uh, you know, containers and, and drop them off on the other side. And then smaller uh, semi-type trucks uh, take them up to the uh, you know the STS cranes up here and load them. And again, we'll go up there and look here in just a minute. Again, the biggest thing I want to do right now is just kind of uh, fly through here slowly and let everybody kind of take a look at you know what I've got. Uh, ignore some of these blocks. Uh, they <laughs> it's, it's been a while since I've been over here, like I said, and I've changed uh, this block in my texture pack. Uh, it's it's scion stained clay um it is it is now um <laughs> a pepsi machine so yeah i'll have to uh use a little mc edit there and and, and change all those out uh but it basically is what i did when i did my cargo area uh the storage area here is i think i built uh one line of them and then all i did was start taking bits and pieces with mc edit and world edit and I would move it over a little bit, reverse them, flip them, take some off the top, add them, stack them. Uh, it, it definitely took a while, but once I had about eight or ten rows down, uh, it was easy to just start grabbing large areas and flipping and spinning. And uh, it looks uh, it, it looks very, very random. 
uh, it, it turned out uh, really, really well. And then I took this area and I flipped it and spun it over on the other area. And that'll load up, like I said, here in just a few minutes. Uh, I've got one main, main road down the middle. Uh, these are for uh, bigger type trucks and things like that to, to come down through here. Uh, again, this side here will be for the main trucks. I'll have a, uh, a terminal or an entry coming in from that side where the trucks, you know, will have to basically go through a check-in point. And um, they've got scanners on the outside that the, uh, that the trucks actually drive through, um, and they check for. Um, uh, I think chemicals maybe I can't remember there's there's some kind of a scanner out there anyways uh, I remember that somebody was telling me about when I was doing my airfield um, that they have scanners on the outside too for the big trucks I'll have to do a little more research on that but again that's all gonna be down in that area there'll be a main parking lot down there for um, all the workers and then I'll also have another big parking lot down there for um, like just shipments of cars when they come in so that's where that is and uh, again the uh, the train trains come down here here's the smaller trucks right here these are actually borrowed off from I think it was um, either Operation Realism server or over there on uh, Estrelon community I can't remember I don't know who designed these or I would definitely give them credit for them um, but yeah these are really really cool trucks and they have a plug-in where uh, their Minecraft head is like a little orange block. Um, it actually looked like a uh, like a like a beacon. Uh, I didn't have it at the time, and I and I couldn't get a single player to pull in the head commands. Uh, I I have now way over on the other side of my map, um, so I can pull in little orange blocks for the beacons. Again, these are these are really really cool, easy design here, guys. You can just kind of take a look at them. I don't, I'm probably not gonna make a tutorial on these again because they aren't mine. They are borrowed from one of the servers, and I and I'm not sure who made these. If they were Yazza or uh, or who 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 made them, I'm not I'm not really sure. But they they're awesome. They're like they're they're perfect size, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> a little heavy on the T. Perfect size for, uh, you know, for a shipping dock area. My containers are a little big, uh, so they look a little oversized on the back of these trucks. They're they're not. It's it's not terribly, terribly bad. Uh, I I still think they look okay, but they're scaled up to uh, the size of you know my trucks over here, and also um, you know my, my container uh, f flat cars over here. Uh, so that's you know kind of kind of why that that works and that's the way those are got my switch engines in between basically for pushers uh, to bring in uh, flatbeds push everything in the line and line everything up uh, I've got some military stuff here some uh, Humvees and uh, five tons and stuff like that some tanks uh, coming in I'll have an area to unload all those some ra probably some ramps like some off ramps of some sort where they can drive it down and have like a just a military area uh, because I am, you know, I, I like a lot of military stuff, so there will definitely be a uh, a little military area. Got uh, some nice engines down here. Got a lot more engines since I uh, since I've been over here, so I'm probably gonna switch some of these out and definitely mix and match a lot of my new engines uh, that I've built. I think last summer and uh, and and mix that up and get a lot of variety down the tracks. Uh, I've got a stacker here. Uh, I know Zarius. Um, he has made uh, a really cool stacker uh, and uh, he'll have a tutorial on that if I can get a link I'll put that down in the description uh, again this was kind of my version I you know was trying to you know screw around and see what I could come up with uh, didn't turn out too bad this one here was borrowed again off of the um, I'm pretty sure it's the Estheron community is where I borrowed this one from uh, just to kind of get an, uh, a reference on you know size and scale and stuff like that again uh, really really nice design there uh, a little underscaled, I think, for for this area. Uh, I'll have another area for all these uh, empty beds here, uh, for all the containers. So probably along, you know, right in here, and also down in the other area, I'll have a lot of these empty, because uh, you would have those just just scattered everywhere throughout the uh, the shipping dock area, uh, just you know, because that's what they're using up on the other end to uh, to load up the ships and again we're gonna go up there here in just a minute uh, the spacing on mine I've got uh, three spaces in between each stack uh, basically is how that works is so that uh, the cranes can come down through and uh, pick up each one and there's a little bit of room on each one if you know somebody's got to go down there for maintenance or something like that I didn't didn't want to put everything 
uh, right tight together. I think Lord Dacker's got all his tight together. Uh, if I could make one suggestion for him, is uh, I would spread it out. It looks it looks nicer. It, it looks a lot cleaner uh, when it's when it's kind of like this right here instead of just stacking all the blocks together. Um, and it just looks like a, just a big stack of colored blocks. Um, so that that would probably be my you know my suggestion uh, to anybody who's who's building the docks or um, for you know, Lord Dacker if he watches this. Well, I'm sure he will. <laughs> to uh, to go ahead and uh, you know spread these out. And I've got yeah I've got 70 70 lanes. <laughs> that's that's a lot. Um, but everything's scaled just right, and I think uh, I think I've got plenty. Uh, you know room down here and I, it's not I don't th really think it's overkill I've got two shipping uh, container ships here uh, it's it's they're both the same one's empty and one is full and I know back several years ago I was gonna do a tutorial on it. I do have it ripped apart and, uh, and it is in a tutorial world I just never got to it it's it's almost like doing a, a, a carrier tutorial they're very very complex and I'm hoping I can get back to it um, very very soon and get you guys a tutorial of this because I'm really really happy with the way that uh, this container ship turned out as a hepeg Lloyd hepeg Lloyd I think it's how you say that I'm not sure but anyways uh, we've got the uh, these stackers here the uh, vertical stackers uh, these are really really cool Lord Dacker don't like these uh, he, he just doesn't he doesn't like these type uh, t uh, these type stackers I do I think they're really cool and this is my design here. Uh, I think those turned out really good, you know, considering that, you know, I don't have modded blocks, uh, so, you know, I don't have, like, yellow stairs and yellow slabs. If I did it, you know, probably would have turned out even better, but uh, I like that design. I think it, I think it looks really, really cool, and, and again, uh, you know, a lot of your bigger docks do have, uh, you know, these stackers here. They'll go to the end of the rows here, and they'll pick them up, you know, like the unloaders, you know, on the other side, you'll have for like the trains and uh, you know excess trucks and stuff like that or specialty containers um, or your container yards that don't have the double crane system like this here you'll have the uh, you know the big truck pickups like uh, we saw on the other the other side the other stackers uh, ones like this you'll definitely see a lot more of these vertical stackers uh, on a system like this just because it's it's more efficient it's faster uh, and then You'll have several lanes coming down underneath uh, for the stackers, and then also the uh, the small trucks. They'll they'll come through, uh, and the cranes, if they're fast enough, they can uh, the, they'll pull it right off the back of the truck, or the, they'll take it off and they'll they'll stage they'll stage the containers uh, on these uh, like like holding holding bl blocks. It's a it's a container holder of some sort, anyways. Uh, but it'll get staged there again sometimes with the uh, the big stackers they'll put them there or the vertical stackers here they'll drop them down and then the cranes can come and pick them up um, I've, I've seen several videos of, of different ways that it works like I said some videos I've seen where they take them the, the trucks pull right up they pull it right off the truck and they load it um, so yeah there's 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 several different ways that a you know the shipping docks work um, and, and they're different all over the world so there's really no wrong way to do it um, you know unless you just <laughs> just do some really weird shit um, but this is this is what I came up with and I think it's I think it's a really really nice design uh, I think the spacing is really good I don't have I, I didn't put in a you know like an overkilled area and, um, and and it doesn't look really crowded I got room for two ships Again, these are both the same ship. This one just happens to be full, and uh, you know that one's just getting loaded down there. These are my big uh, giant STS shipping cranes here, uh, gantry cranes. These turn out really well. <laughs> Lord Decker just built his, and uh, he he found out that these are uh, not the easiest things to build. <laughs> Definitely took me a while to uh, to come up with mine, also and then uh, also do a tutorial on it. And of course, if I didn't mention it already, uh, I've got tutorials on, on pretty much everything that you see here except for the, uh, like I said, the ship and um, you know the stackers. And I'm talking more like the cranes and stuff. Uh, I've got tutorials and uh, I will try to link them in, in the description too. Uh, again, just wanted to fly through, let everybody get a real good look and hopefully get inspired on uh, you know my idea of a, of a shipping dock. Again, I, I did a lot of research 
uh, before I built mine and uh, and I know that's what he's going through right now and I really hope this helps him and I hope it helps anybody else that stops by and uh, and you know they're thinking about building one they're in the process of building one or they see mine and they're like that's cool as shit I want to redesign I want to redesign mine and um, and you know use some of these ideas you're more than welcome to uh, then you know that's what we're here for uh, a lot of you older subscribers will recognize this area here was pulled from the old BIB world uh, over where the um, uh, the dry dock was and this was one of the very first cranes that I made one of the very first gantry cranes that I made and, uh, and it still works it still works very well in this area uh, so this is this is cool uh, but anyways again that's that's all I really wanted to say that's all I really wanted to put into this video uh, I hope everybody uh, gets a little bit of something out of this and uh, hopefully I should kind of make my way back over here and, uh, and get working in this area again because uh, it's been a long time and I'm definitely definitely excited and inspired myself to uh, to come over here and, and finish this area. But like always guys I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.